gathering in the southern lands. Commander Bernhardt's mercenary army, the Grudgebringers, defend a small trading post from attack by Gorkin. A battleground is a banquet of dead men's flesh. The crows are dining well. Win or lose, the crows never go hungry, eh, Klaus? Death, some say, is its own reward, Morgan. If death's a reward, I'll take it in gold coin, old friend. Preferably from Emperor Karl Franz. That man owes me. Perhaps he's about to pay. You've been summoned to the Imperial Court in Altdorf. Immediate departure. Reason unknown. Who told you this? An Imperial Courier. He rode in during the battle. It would seem the Emperor has need of a mercenary commander who deals with death in gold coin. Then I'll not disappoint him. And he'd better not disappoint me. Get ready to match for Altdorf. Ah, Bernard. You came to Altdorf promptly. But not as prompt as your friend Sven Carlson. Good to see you again, Morgan. Good to see you too, Sven. But I wasn't summoned here for a chat about old times, was I? Indeed not. Carlson has requested military aid for the region of the Border Princes. The Border Princes are in desperate need of aid. Hordes of Greenskins have swarmed into our lands. We battle night and day to protect the passes into the Empire, but the enemy is too numerous. Without reinforcements, we'll soon be overwhelmed. Why are the Greenskins invading in such numbers? I'm not sure, but it seems as if they're being driven north by some unseen power or cloud of fear at their backs. Whatever that unknown force is, it terrifies even the Greenskins. Unaided, we cannot stop the rampaging orcs from breaking through and threatening the Empire itself. We are aware of the danger to our Empire. Bernhardt, I want you to take your army south with Carlson and deal with this menace. I deal in gold coin for red blood, or green blood. My army fights for money, the glory we leave to others. Yes, yes, that's understood. Return here victorious from the Border Princes and you'll be well rewarded. And knowing you, you'll pick up loot along the way. Now go and destroy the enemy before it invades the Empire. I'll gladly place my troops under your command, Morgan. Wise decision. We head for the Border Princes. Morgan, Orc Warband sighted ahead. The Greenskins are in disarray. We can take them by surprise. Assemble the troops. We'll surprise the enemy with sharp steel. You seem troubled, Klaus. Teufelbad has become a town of fear and whispers. The town folk murmur of hungry ghosts. Pale faces peering in at the window. The unquiet dead. Maybe they're just rattled at the prospect of greenskins at their doorstep. Greenskins wouldn't inspire this kind of dread. This is something unnatural. Let's hurry on south. When my men have filled their stomachs, we'll leave. Uh, there's a man here whom I think you know. A wizard by the name of Luther Flamestriker. Greetings, Commander Bernhardt. It has been some time since I last rode with you. And now you have need of me again. And why should I need you again? Look around you. Look at this haunted town. Dark magic in the air. And here I stand, a bright wizard to combat the dark. A mage might prove invaluable, Morgan. Who knows what's up ahead? Well, you were my mentor 20 years ago, Klaus, and your advice has usually been sound. So, very well. Join us, Flamestrike. Now, let's get back on the road. And to whatever's waiting for us. Morgan! Grisberg town up ahead. It's under attack by the living dead. Flamestrike warned us that we were heading into the dark. He meant the dark on the other side of the grave. The living dead. Then we'll make the living dead just plain dead. Attack! That's better. 
Now the undead are as quiet as the grave. I expected to slay greenskins, not wage war on living corpses. Why do the dead walk this region? The dead walk in many regions. Ah, Matthias. Fancy meeting you here. Have you taken time off from burning innocent women as witches? I told you before. Don't call me Matthias. Address me by my proper title, Witch Hunter General, and the supreme authority on all abominations, whether of witchcraft or necromancy. So, show respect, Bernhardt. Call me Commander. I warn you, don't incur my anger. I am the surgeon of sin. I cut it out wherever I find it. Where there are witches, I seek out and burn. Sorcerers I put under the long torture unto death. Wizards who traffic with unclean spirits meet with swift retribution at my hands or at the hands of my priestly servants. No sinner escapes my righteous wrath. No sinner could outrun your judgment, Matthias. Injustice is swift. Be careful what you say, Bernhardt. One wrong word can condemn you. Just one wrong word. And if the undead don't destroy you, I will. Now, do you want to hear my news or not? You mean you have something worthwhile to say for once? Go ahead and say it. The undead are many. So many. I have seen numerous packs of them in the south, and heard witnesses describe ragged armies of corpses shambling across the southern lands. So, the dead swarm to the south. Perhaps they are the threat that panicked the orcs into a stampede. Yes, Commander. I feel sure the undead are the cause of the Greenskins' migration from the south. Even the devil-spawned orcs flee the dead who walk. We must report this to the Emperor in Altdorf immediately, Bernhardt. As I said, call me Commander Matthias. I'll report to Altdorf. You can trot behind us if you like. Men, we march to Altdorf at first light. I presume you have something of interest to report. I've encountered bands of the undead in the Border Princes. You may find that hard to believe. It comes as no surprise. Since you left, I have received similar reports from other regions. Carlson, I need you to return to the Border Princes and deal with this growing menace. I will supply reinforcements. Thank you for your assistance. Now I must leave. I wish you well. As for you, Bernhardt, it is my wish that you ride guard for the reinforcements bound for Helmgard. And as the town of Bogenhafen happens to be on the way, and my cousin requires an escort there, you will provide that escort. I don't believe you have met my cousin, the Countess Isabel von Liebowitz. Commander Bernhardt, although we haven't met, I have heard many tales of your military victories. There are fewer tales told of my defeats, Countess but I'll gladly provide you with an escort. You have my thanks. I will place my personal guard at your disposal for the journey, and I entrust my own safety into your hands. I hope I'll prove worthy of your trust. I shall ride to Bogenhafen and keep my eye open for any... sin. A band of brigands are headed this way. Their weapons drawn. Guard the Countess, Klaus. Protect her with your life. One of the attackers reached the Countess's carriage before I could cut him down. He had this letter on him, showing the Countess's portrait along with orders to locate her. Look at the seal. It's outlandish, is it not? Why did they attack a carriage with an armed escort? There's something wrong here, deeply wrong. What's going on? What did they want, Commander? I'd say the ambush was a diversion, while some of the band identified you from the portrait. But I'll allow no harm to come to you. You have my word of honor on that. My personal word. Now, we'd best make speed. 
Welcome to Bogenhafen. At last. Ambushes have a way of slowing my progress a little. We were attacked on the road, witch hunter. The attackers were acting under orders from an unknown source. The real target was the Countess. Is that so? That's disturbing news. I wonder whose orders they were following. What do you think, Bernhardt? Call me Commander. You'll say that once too often. Oh, Commander, I'm glad you've arrived. I'm the mayor of this town. I've got a letter here. It was found nailed to the door of the town shrine. Just what does it all mean? It might help if you told me what's in the letter. What? Oh, oh yes. Uh, uh, here, see for yourself. To the feeble folk of Bolton have. Beware the one. Death has a hundred hands and walks a hundred ways. Death waits close by, but not for you if you are wise. You will surrender Countess Isabella von Leibovitz to me, and then relieve you to your wretched little lives. Refuse to surrender, and death will come to your town with a hundred soft footfalls. Don't disappoint. Look at the seal on this letter. It bears the same mark as the one carried by the brigands. Morgan, we'll lose time if we stay. They need us at Helmgard. But it's up to you. Well, I'm not staying. I'll not lift a finger to protect this town. It's probably full of heretics anyway. You'll be seeing me again, Morgan. Count on it. I'll not allow the Countess to come to harm. I gave her my personal word on that. We stay. Prepare to fight. Oh, a spectacular victory, Commander. The folk of Borgenhafen owe you their lives. How can we ever repay you? How can you repay us? I'll give you a clue. They're round, they glitter, and they fill purses. Um... I'm not sure what you're getting at. Think about it, but not too long. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Uh, you'll be paid in full. <laughs> Goes without saying. <laughs> As for me, Commander, what payment can recompense for saving my life? Good question. One I've heard many times before. I still don't have a good answer. Perhaps we'll speak of it when I return. Are you going, Commander? I'm always going somewhere. We must leave you, Countess. We're riding to Helmgard. The mayor here will protect you with his men while we're away. Oh! Oh! Uh, y yes, yes, uh, I'll protect her. Make sure you do. But if you don't, take my advice. Next time you see me, run. Yes. Yes, sir. I mean, I'll lay down my life for us. Good. Klaus, let's go! The undead have overrun the tower. I warned you, Morgan. I warned you back in Bolgenhafen that we didn't have time to waste. Failing the coin, let's go for the glory. We retake the tower. Success! Helmgard is ours, and the reinforcements have joined the remnants of the tower's garrison. Also an unexpected bonus. The commander of the tower has shown his gratitude by giving us a potion of strength. Hello, commander. You didn't expect to meet your old friend Asgore's bloodfist, did you, did you? Indeed I didn't. Good to see you again, Asgore's. Up to your neck in trouble again, eh? From what I've seen of the undead, give me a green skin any day. I know what you mean. Yeah, they're everywhere. Walking rock from the tomb. Swarms of them. When you swing your axe at a walking corpse, it's like hacking mush. And they keep on coming. We dwarves have a real war on our hands. It's the same for everyone, Asgas. Aye, I know that. Here, I'll give you a tip. 
A hint from 109s. When you see the Emperor, tell him to take a look inside the Liber Mortis. We dwarves know more than we sometimes let on about grimoires and such like. And uh, there's something you can do for me, uh, if you're of a mind. <laughs> I have to report back to Carrick Norn, but the undead army blocked the way. Will you help me? I'll help you, my friend. Hey, that's grand. Together we'll squash the undead legions. Living dead up ahead. Prepare to attack. I thank you, Commander. You're a true friend. Here, accept this gift. The enchanted shield. A dose of magic always comes in handy. <laughs> now, I've got to be off to Carrick Norn. Good luck. Klaus, we must return to Old North. Recognize this seal. It belongs to none other than Count Manfred von Karstein the last and most terrible of the vampire camps. It's believed that he once entered the kingdom of the dead and returned with the secrets of unlife. He is the master of the high mysteries of evil. His abode is Castle Drakenhof in Sylvania, that land of silent forests and whispering fear in the night. Have you heard, Commander, that the Countess was kidnapped from Bogenhafen after your departure? The mayor apparently fled the moment the Karstein minions came in sight. The townsfolk are grief-stricken, and the mayor is bewailing his career prospects. I should have stayed to protect her. It is my wish that you rescue her without delay. Have you any other news? Helmgart has been secured. I am pleased to hear of it. Asgur's Bloodfist gave me a message to pass on to you, my lord. He suggested you consult the Liber Mortis. Ah, uh, yes. The Book of the Dead. In the present circumstances, a most appropriate choice. Do you not agree, Volkmar? As Theogenist, supreme master of all matters arcane, I must counsel the utmost caution in consulting the Liber Mortis. It is an enterprise which I alone might survive. Even to touch its flesh-bound cover, steeped in demonic juices, could result in at least a minor damnation were I not protected by my faith in Sigma. Once the blasphemous pages are opened, 29 major damnations lie in wait. Despite my sorcerer's powers, I stand in constant peril of having my soul turned inside out as I scan the unholy symbols at the grimoire's living pages. Yes, I have heard of the hazards of reading the Liber Mortis. In the past, several inquisitive mages have been swallowed body and soul by the book, and then regurgitated into a number of different hells. And of course, should you agree to consult its pages, you will do so inside the chamber unbreachable at the summit of Altov's tallest tower, to shield the capital from the diabolic forces released when the book is opened. But regardless of the danger, our need is urgent. Will you accept the task of consulting the Liber Mortis, Volkmar? Given the severity of the undead threat, I see no option but to open its dread pages. Well, Commander, I owe you thanks for the advice on the Liber Mortis. Volkmar. Prepare your spirit for the ordeal of scanning the pages of the Grimoire in the Chamber Unbreachable. We earnestly hope that you survive the experience and bring us the fruits of your endeavor.